Hi, my name is Charlie Steele, and the sermon I have prepared for you today is about the game of hide and seek. So, why are you a Christian? Why are you a Christian? Is it because you want to go to heaven, or make life as easy as possible, or do you just want to prove something to someone? And if you are a Christian, what does Christianity mean to you? Is it hard, frustrating, easy? Well, I think the walk of faith is kind of like a game of hide and seek. You can hide from God, or you can seek Him, and it is. It is a constant game of hiding from him and seeking him. A, a perfect example of the game of hide and seek is when Adam and Eve hide from God in the Garden of Eden. Genesis chapter 3, verses 8 through 11, it says, Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord as he was walking in the garden of the cool of day. And then they hid from God among the trees in the garden. And But the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard you were in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I, so I hid. And then the Lord said, Who told you you were naked? Have you eaten from the fruit I have commanded you not to eat from? But the game of... Or, sorry. This is a perfect example of Adam and Eve hiding from God and the Lord seeking them out. But the game of hide and seek is also a game where you seek the Lord. In the times it may seem he feels distant, he is closer than ever. We, we are the ones that draw away, not God. One component of the game is the one who hides. The one who hides. And to be truthful, most of us are the hiders in this case. The objective of the hider is to remain hidden. In Romans chapter 3, verse 23, it says, For all who have sinned and fallen, sh for all who have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We get, when we give our lives to the Lord, we are found. We can either stay out of hiding or go back into concealment. There are many reasons why we hide from the Lord, some of them being false comfort, false security, and the unwillingness to remove ourselves from the darkness. The hard thing about seeking God is that it is so much easier to stay in the darkness and cut yourself out from God. Many people do not know about the darkness, that the devil lies in the darkness. The devil tricks you and tempts you into thinking that you are free in concealment. However, all concealment is a trap. A cage that is hard to escape once you have adapted to it. There are many times in my life where I have been in this trap and found my comfort in the darkness. But when I came out of the cage, I finally felt true peace and reassurance way better than anything I could find in the devil's playhouse. I felt free. This brings me to my next point, seeking. The objective of the seeker is to find the one who hides. We are called to be seekers in our walk of faith. Now, we have the choice to be seekers. And that, is the, that choice is the amazing part about being a Christian. God does not force us or pressure us into picking a side. We get to choose. And in Luke 17, chap, chapter 17, verse 6, it says, He replied, If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree, Be uprooted and be planted into the sea, and I will obey you. This is a good thing about seeking. It only requires a small amount of faith. But also remember that you need to continue your faith and a healthy relationship in God in order to be a successful seeker. So, what are the benefits of pursuing God? Well, one, by pursuing God and being His disciple, you grow in faith and produce fruits. Another benefit of being a disciple is that you can lead others in faith. Yeah, it may seem like a lot, but when you start to seek, it gets easier. God wants you to find Him. He's always on your side, because God knows we can't do it alone. That's why, as Christians, we are called to be seekers to be lights in the world, to be leaders, to be outsiders. I know that the darkness is so tempting. Trust me, I've been there. I feel your pain. But once you have allowed yourself to step out of the darkness and into the light, you will be overcome with God's purpose, meaning, and significance. Are you sitting in the hider's place right now? The place of false security, false comfort, and false love. I guarantee you that God is with you. He does not want you to stay in this place of concealment. The place where the devil lies can find you. He wants you to seek him with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. He wants everything. It's your choice. Hide or seek.